Hello and welcome to a uh, Dragon PME tutorial yet again. Um, well, I say yet again, you could have been watching this one for the first time. Anyway, right, my point today I'm going to show you how to change startup items and things like that. Um, I, I'd just like to point out that I've changed my uh, hard drive symbol and I've changed the desktop background and the dock and stuff um, because I'm going through my phase of where you've just got to customize everything um, as much as possible because I like to do that type of thing. So um, a little change I suppose, I don't know how long it'll last but um, usually I refer back to the defaults after a couple of days because I realize well actually they're quite good. But I'm here. Um, okay, let's get cracking on with the tutorial. So, changing um, what starts up with your computer, um, you have to manually go in and tell it what to do and what not to do, basically. Um, first of all, you have to click on System Preferences, if you never saw, and then go to Accounts. Now, I thought it was a bit strange being in Accounts, but it just happens it is. Unlock your daily bob because sorry I can't type and talk at the same time unlock your daily bob so you can um, do this that and the other and on the top of your tabs you've got password picture login items clicky click and here we have a list of items that you can log automatically open when they log in um, as you can see I've only got a few here and um, most of these don't at all have a window so you don't see them actually start up um, and that's it. If you want to take one away, you select it and press the minus button. If you want to add one, you press plus. Now, pressing plus, I don't think would really, is not the best way of adding something. So, if I just close this, I'll show you. For example, we want to start, uh, you know, so many icons, so many com things to choose. Start. In fact, what's the point? I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to uh, restart the computer, so it doesn't matter. So, what you do, basically, is you right-click the icon that you want to start up. So, if it's not in the dock, for example, you might want to run it or whatever. Um, take text edit, for example. You right-click, and you scroll, 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 to open at login. Here, second from the bottom. Is it second on the bottom on the mall? Yeah, pretty much. Well, apart from open stuff, right. Anyway, it doesn't matter if it's first, second, third, fourth. Anyway, open at login, you click it, and if you notice next time you right click or control click, you just got a little tick. Um, I'm presuming if you go in assistant preferences, bouncy bounce, and accounts, don't forget that because I got a bit confused by that. Uh, I don't think you have to unlock it to view, and you'll see text edit uh, is appeared in the list. Now, if I close that, um, go to text edit, right click again and click it again. I'm guessing, yes it did, the tick disappeared. So that's easily how to uh, check, uh, start and unstop, start an application. Um, so we go into accounts and then login items and we'll see it has disappeared from the list. So what about Snaps Pro for example you may ask. I don't really know what it is to be honest. Maybe I should uh, research into it. But basically, it's not in the dock, is it? Um, so how do you untick it? Minus. Just click minus. Some stuff that might pop into here that you might not want. Although I do want which, which I've um, explained in the past is a alt tab and apple tab alt see all apple tab switches through um, stuff like that and uh, alt tab rather than apple tab switches like this between windows anyway that's that's irrelevant minimize because I selected by accident um, so yeah this is how you add and remove applications from your startup making sure that stupid things that you don't want to hog your processor at startup um, don't start up basically click the minus and away it goes click the plus to add one I don't really add many to be honest these have just added themselves and in fact I'm going to remove snaps pro because I, I think it was something in, I installed a couple of days ago and is still there and I need to delete it really. Anyway, so, voila. I hope you've learned something. I hope you haven't um, sat and discussed too much, too little, too long, too late. Did that make sense? Anyway, uh, so yeah. I'd just like to stroke my moon thing, planet, 
anyway um i hope you've learned something if i haven't if you haven't learned something um then well done for not in the first place and if you have learned something then well done for listening to us i hope you've had a good time and learned something because every day you learn something new um and not learning something new every day would be a crisis hmm. anyway goodbye have fun and don't forget to play with your mac because we all we all love playing with our macs hey <laughs>